There are several photographs and videos of the Louisiana Lake Pontchartrain causeway and transmission lines showing what globe enthusiasts claim to be visual proof of the curvature of the Earth. In the footage, the bridge and transmission lines, when viewed from a certain angle and height, appear to curve downwards as they tend toward the horizon, and this apparent curvature is claimed to be proof of the globe. The first thing to notice when considering this footage is that the curvature is not at all uniform, as it must be on a globe. Instead, there is almost no apparent curvature in the foreground, and far too much curvature appearing in the background near the horizon. If you trace a circle completing the curve in these pictures, it is clear that they cannot be showing the curvature of a globe nearly 25,000 miles in circumference. The bridge itself is just under 24 miles long, and a circle traced over the radically curving section near the horizon would represent a tiny globe only a few hundred miles in circumference maximum. This shows that the alleged curvature is actually a visual phenomenon and not a physical one. In fact, by placing a series of identical blocks on a flat table and filming from a similar height and angle, the exact same seeming curvature effect can be achieved. Visually, it appears as if the blocks toward the back of the table are getting shorter or that the table itself is curving downwards. But in reality, we know the table is perfectly flat, and the blocks are all equal height. Likewise with the Lake Pontchartrain transmission towers, visually, it appears as if the towers in the background are getting shorter, or the lake itself is curving downwards. But in reality, we know the towers are all equal heights, and Lake Pontchartrain is perfectly flat. How do we know that Lake Pontchartrain is perfectly flat? Because water does not have the physical capability of showing convexity upon its surface. All water, when contained and undisturbed, forms a horizontal level across its surface and is incapable of maintaining any kind of curvature or height differentials. Whether in a beaker, bottle, or bathtub, a pool, lake, or an ocean, the natural physics of water remain the same. Globe apologists will claim the mythical force of gravity somehow causes lakes and oceans to bend in conformity with their fantastical ball earth. But, conveniently, of course, only at a scale too large for them to recreate. In reality, no matter what the scale, all contained, undisturbed bodies of water are demonstrably flat, including the 24-mile expanse of Lake Pontchartrain. This becomes obvious when viewed at altitude, as the entire lake and causeway can be seen with a perfectly flat horizon above them. With the use of high-altitude balloons, it becomes even more obvious, as they reach heights of over 120,000 feet, capable of seeing for hundreds of miles in all directions. Ironically, when confronted with these flat horizons, Globe Earth apologists use the exact opposite excuse and no matter your altitude, always claim you simply aren't high enough to see the curvature. In other words, they claim at ground level, the Lake Pontchartrain bridge and transmission towers are bending around the physical curvature of their globe just two dozen miles away. But at high altitudes, where we can see for hundreds of miles in all directions, that is somehow not high or far enough to see the curve.